Bucks, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs and my growing extended beautiful family, thank you so much for the love and support. Being able to know that I can rock with people that connect with me on so many different levels and so many different ways is truly a blessing to me. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and hey you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is being very informative to you or just even gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one family or friend please go ahead and share especially if they're having they're needing you know validation or confirmation towards their life path or life purpose and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and once again thank you so much for the love and support I truly appreciate it and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today, um, my meditation music that I'm listening to is Find Inner Peace, Balance, Meditation Music, Relax, Mind and Body, Positive Energy and Healing Music. Once again, it's one of those Buddhas. And say, so anytime I see those, I hurry up and click it real quick because they're always, they're so common. And um, today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, hey, Okas, when all is said and done, you'll be glad you had uh, certain people and things removed or and blocked out of your life you are i mean it's just the fact is it's like now while i've been going through this for a while and it's like i feel like i'm such a uh I'll turn this down a little bit um a work in progress you know it's is always room for improvement you know it's just like when you're you're doing your best you're letting go of things you're cutting cords you, you know you're stepping aside you know going away from things you know removing things out of your life that's no longer serving you uh cutting cords towards anything that's toxic and is going to keep you at a low frequency you know i really feel like i'm blessed i really do this situation has humbled me on so many levels you know it speaks very a lot of volumes to me um being able to have that strength inside myself you know it's like my dad always used to tell me you are so passionate you're so strong and this and this and that you just don't see it within yourself and at the time when he was telling me that i really didn't see that because i was just a hot mess you know just still crying and you know getting upset about all the things i was going through because it, even going through this it still feels so surreal to me you know at times i'm just like you know is this my life you know am i really going through this and seeing how many how many um people that has been taken out of my life seeing all the things that i've walked away from that i never thought i'd be able to part with um being able to heal on my own without any stimulants you know um that was a blessing to me because it's just like even though like i told y'all all the time even though you're not in the place that you are wanting to be you have to be able to look how far you have came you're not the same person that started this journey you know if you're now uh, starting you just now been starting your spiritual awakening or becoming aware of you're going through a spiritual awakening trust and believe you will start seeing things connecting to things walking stepping back and being able to see the bigger picture on the reason why you know things have been placed your way I remember when I first started my journey I had friends that I was like connected with that were like you know my god sisters my god brothers people I've been you know really tight with since high school all walk out of my life you know since they found out the truth about who I was related to you know they acted funny they distanced themselves they would have like you know um they would be the mean people you know like the movie mean girls you know um and I would never understand why you know I used to be so hurt because it's like when I went through all this I really didn't have anybody to talk to because it was like either people started getting jealous or they just didn't believe me or they thought I was looking for attention and that wasn't it it's just like when you've gone through something like somebody lied about you about your whole identity for you know going on you know I'm 42 years old and you know things I knew like when I was little like four or five years old I was speaking the truth about stuff I didn't really you know it didn't make sense to me it was just certain things I would just blurt out and didn't understand it 
you know, being at that age, you know, five years old, <laughs> you knowing things about, you know, your past life and, you know, who your parents are, even though th there's no recollection of that, you shouldn't be that young knowing about stuff like that, but I did. And being able to connect everything together just about three or four years ago, you know, it really made me lose my mind but it was just the fact is I had to be able to fall apart I had to be able to break myself down on so many different layers it was like peeling an onion back and it's just like the more you peel out an onion the more strong that odor got and it was like the ugly truth was sitting there and I always say I'd rather be hurt with the truth than, than hurt with the lie and I remember when I first started this journey after my father had passed away and I was taking a shower one day, and next thing you know, he was like, I can see his silhouette just standing outside the shower curtain. I don't know if it was just because I was in touch with my higher self, because that was a lot of times when I was just Bob Marley in it up, you know, and he was just like, you know, are you prepared for this? Because the truth is not going to be pretty. And I'm just like, I need to know, Dad. I really need to know. And he's like, I don't think you're going to be able to handle this. And I never knew how deep it went, and it's just to know that my parents were behind all this, you know, not my parents, but my adopted father was down for all these things, just to be able to have a life comfortable for his wife to be able to have, you know, that was a hurtful feeling to me, really hurtful. So it's just like when I can look back at it now, and it's just like knowing I'm proud of myself of that milestone to be able to connect with them that again, just to get that closure, you know, because I was like, when I first started this situation, I was just like the friends I, I was there for is no longer there for me. You know, I needed somebody to talk to and it's just a situation I'm going through. They said they couldn't handle it because it was too heavy, you know, and they didn't know what to say and it was too much for them. And it's like, I always had to, you know, talk to my dad on a telepathic level or talk to my mom on a spiritual level. That's the only people I had to talk to. And now when I look back at all this, I'm grateful that they took, you know, alcohol, cigarettes, weed out of my life. I'm glad I was able to, you know, look at my problems straightforward without having any kind of stimulants just to get me through that. I hit it head on, you know, sober, you know, walked away from people that I can clearly see that was not in a healthy vibration with me either they were trying to block me from my blessings you know wishing bad things on me you know starting drama you know it was just all those different things you know and some of the people are trying to come back and you know i'd be cordial with them but it's just like you know look you know they try to make small talk with me and it's like for an empath you already know we don't deal with small talk and i see what you're doing you're trying to oh well how's the weather uh, -uh don't come at me with that <laughs> you know so it's just a blessing to be able to say that you know i've changed a lot but it's in a positive way you know there's times that you know I see people and you know they go through different things and they go through major changes and people are like oh they think they're too good they don't change they don't even act the same anymore maybe that's true but it's just you know maybe they needed to change you know maybe they needed to go through all these different things in life that has been placed upon them that wasn't a healthy it wasn't you know it was very unhealthy for them it's just like when you look at the situations that you have been placed in and you seeing that you know once you have went through a spiritual awakening you'll start losing friends you'll start seeing things for what they truly are you're not no longer seeing things in a 3d world of monetary or materialistic value you know you're seeing how everything connects and it's just like when everything is all said and done once you have healed because it's like a long time it, you know i used to tell god i don't think i'm going to be able to heal from this you know i don't know how i'm going to be able to forgive these people for doing this to me they took me away from my parents you know, they, they used me for monetary value just for them to live comfortable, comfortably while my ch me and my children suffered and was in poverty. You know, all these different things has happened to me and now it's just like, you know what, I'm blessed. I have things instilled in me that money can't buy. I had to be able to see that. You know, even though my dad is, you know, a celebrity and rich, you know, I had to be able to learn, you know, money does not buy you happiness. It, it's the things that are cherished are things that are priceless. The things that are instilled in my life are priceless. These are things you, you, you have self-love. You can't buy those things. You have integrity. You have self-respect. You know, you love all these things that in my life that money does have money doesn't even connect to those things it's a blessing to have it but i had to be able to live through that you know knowing that you can just be blessed with just the things that you have with you and it's like anything that you needed 
was instilled in yourself because you're able to manifest all those things. And that was the blessing that I had to be able to see, you know, allowing myself to heal to let me know even though this is my current situation is not my final destination and like i said yesterday in my other videos it you know it's all at the end it'll be okay and if it's not okay you know it's not the end you know we all go through these trials and tribulations and feel like we're not going to make it through that we're not going to ever heal we don't you, you have to be able to process like all the things that you have went through that you have suppressed for so long you know all my stuff came back up all at one time all the memories from the abuse them trying to wipe my memory from my 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 you know my biological family you know all these different things you know my dad was getting in touch with me telepathically through dreams you know they wiped that away you know they severed that connection that me and my father had and just to be able to have that brought back all at one time was very tragic for me because I had to deal with everything all at one time so being able to do that showed me true strength about myself you know being able to put it in the videos you know, not worrying about how people would perceive me, what would they think of me if I was telling the truth. You know, if you're an empath, you know when somebody's feeding you BS and you know when somebody's lying. You know, it just it's up to you if, you know, you want to be able to believe the things that you say. You know, I see a lot of people watch my intros and I'm like that. You know, there are a lot more people that are seeing the intros, but I don't get subscribers. And I'm like, it's okay. You know, that's fine. You know, my message is for people that need to hear it that is resonating with them. You know, it's not about, you know, who I'm related to or whatever, but this is what brought me here. You know, knowing that uh, things have happened things that have occurred in my life that I had to heal from in so many different levels. Being able to, you know, you hear people get abused all the time when, you know, they're in foster care or they're adopted, you know, uh, or even children that are born, you know, through that family. You know, they, they have some of them that are not blessed to have a loving family like that. They've been in really bad conditions. And being able to rise above all those things, it's like when I look at my my adopted father and I look at my, my his wife, and I'm being able to say, you don't have that power over me anymore. You can no longer hurt me, you know? And it kind of scared them because they didn't know, you know, I was so predictable back back then. They knew me like the back of my hand. They knew what my weaknesses was and tried to use that. Try to use it against me again. And it didn't work, that, you know? And that's what scared them. I felt the fear in their heart. I can smell the fear on them because they didn't know how to take me because I wasn't enraged. When I had every right to be, I did not do that. I was just like, no, I'm not going to put my energy. If that was my problem. I put so much energy in that because that lets you know you had me from the palm of your hand and you no longer do that. You know, and that was the blessing within itself to me when I was able to take that power back. Not once, not twice, but three times from them. And them not, you know, they thought... You know, they would invite me somewhere and being able to reel me back in. And I'm like, no, you know, that was my closure. I was just tolerating you. You know, I was just, you know, giving myself that freedom to let, you know, take my peace, get my peace of mind. But being able to know I went through and endured the worst kind of abuse that a child can have from eight years old all the way until, you know, just about three, four years ago has been a long time, you know, and it, it took me a long time to really, in a short period of time, from all that happening, I healed, you know, and I'm still on that verge of healing right now, and being able to go through that was a blessing to me, and it's just like, when I look at all how far I've came, and it's just like, you know, you're not allowing people to get to you way you used to, because, I mean, you can see me, you know, saying certain videos, and sorry, I'm getting so frigid, it's like my body is like really sore, but, um, uh, it, it was just like going through all those different things. It allowed me to heal. It allowed me to be able to put it into videos and let you know, hey, you might have went through some very traumatic situations with your family, your friends, or even, you know, a significant other. But this is the video to let you know that you will be okay. It, it's going to take a daily process. And you can, like I tell people, you have to go through it to get to it. And you will get your strength back. You will get that power back. And you will have that confidence in yourself to say, you, you know what, anything else can be thrown at me and I will, they won't be able to penetrate me. I wouldn't, as soon as I said that, my dad gonna phone lit up. And um, being able to go through all those different things is like, you know, hey, you're gonna make it through that. And um, you're gonna deal with this and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna heal. So it's just like when you just, when you go through those different things, allow yourself to know, um, 
sorry about that uh, go through so many different things that you have to process it is going to take uh, it's going to take that time and you know that you're going to have to get through it but it's just going to be a daily process for you to be working on that to be able to instill into you saying you know what I need my power back I need my peace of mind I need my happiness you know I can't allow these people to keep controlling me you know because it's just like when you're able it, it's a good feeling when people have played you for a puppet for so long and know how to press your buttons, know how to do that. And it was like things when I grew up, they always told me never react when people expect you to react because that's the most scariest thing because they don't know what to expect next. I end up using that against them. It's like you need to, you know, they used to tell me you need to let things go because when you don't let things go, they allow people to know that they still have power over you. I use that against them. So it was just like, you know, it goes and still over my head. And I keep telling myself, I'm so proud of myself because I never thought I would be able to get over this. When I told God, I didn't think I was going to be able to really get over this. And it's just like, this is that, that, that video. This is the video right now. that's going to allow you to know when everything is all said and done. And after you have healed, you have cried, you have screamed, you got angry, you confused, just sad, disappointed at what situation has been placed on you. And then for you to be like that, and you know what, you forgive yourself for allowing yourself to let yourself be triggered for so long for all the pain that's been placed in your life. You will truly tell the universe, you know what, thank you. There are so many days. I mean, I was meditating before I made this video, and I told God, thank you for taking all that that no longer served me, that kept me in that low frequency, that kept me in that sad, dark place for me to be released. And, you know, it, they helped me do that. You know, I always, they're there to ask. You know, all you got to do is ask, and they'll help you so many ways. And it was just like, I felt so good to be able to do that and being able to share that with people, you know, telling you all the things I went through, you know, and there's a lot of things that I haven't told y'all, you know, it, it, it's just because it was the things that you need to know to help you get through your process on the things that has brought you here, you know, going through the spiritual awakening can really mess you up the long way, but the, everything has a purpose for that doing it it has to shake your life up for you to be able to know who you truly are because we're walking around blind and truth too many times and then it just has to take this traumatic situation to slap you in the thing you know slap reality into you to let you know hey this is what you truly are they can't come knocking at the door and tell you because you're gonna go listen so they have to bring some shock into your life for you to be able to know this is what you're going through this is what happened to you and this is what you're gonna overcome so it's just like it's easier said and done yeah but it's up to you if you're ready. When you're ready to turn your life around, that's when it's going to happen for you. That's when the universe is going to work out for your greater good. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. I'm going to give uh, a post notification shout out to Buddy Pre and Marisol Coleman. And much love to you as well. And I will talk to you in my next video. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. And I will talk to you on my next video. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild. Send out as much love and some, you know, love, happiness and all that stuff to people. You never know who needs it. And, you know, like and subscribe. Hit thumbs up. Share. Drop a line. Let me know if you resonate. And I'll see you later. Peace. Be wild.